Mr. Connor, I am very pleased to hear from a nominee with your deep experience and understanding of Native American policy and natural resources issues. I am, however, very concerned about the Dakota Access Pipeline and what it reflects about the Army Corps of Engineers' relationship with tribal nations. Several tribal nations with homelands along the Missouri River have sued the Corps over the Dakota Access Pipeline. I joined with a number of my colleagues to support the tribe's cause. A federal district court found that the Corps violated federal law when it failed to prepare an environmental impact statement before granting approval for the pipeline to run under Lake Oahe. I am concerned that the pipeline continues to operate without a completed environmental review, despite the legal requirements. So, Mr. Connor, will you commit to making sure that the Corps follows the law and that this situation with the Dakota Access Pipeline is addressed as quickly as possible? Senator, thank you. Uh, absolutely. Um, the Corps uh, will be following the law with respect to the directions of the court and, and all other applicable laws and policy with respect to completing the work on the Dakota Access Pipeline, and that includes uh, addressing the issues identified by the court and robust tribal consultation. And I think that's the next step. Tribal consultation is not a check the box exercise. It's got to be robust, meaningful, and that means it's got to be substantive in the interaction with tribes. Uh, so I look forward to uh, working uh, through on this issue if I'm confirmed. Um, I understand there's a solid schedule that's been put together to finish the work on the environmental impact statement. Uh, and it's my intent to oversee that, not uh, obviously interfere with that. The core is doing good work with with uh, with uh, very substantive direction now from the court, and um, we will be overseeing that and ensuring uh, that the laws are followed. Well, I, I, I very much appreciate hearing you say that you're going to make sure that the laws are followed. You know, I think you have your work cut out for you here. The district court has noted, I think with some exasperation, that the core has dragged its feet on making a decision about whether to use its enforcement powers to halt operation of the pipeline, even though the pipeline is, in the court's words, quote, an unlawful encroachment. So let me just ask, Mr. Connor, will you commit to promptly exploring the appropriate use of the Corps' enforcement powers in this case? Yes, Senator, I will promptly look into that issue if I'm confirmed. Good. Well, I, I, I want you to look into it and I want you to enforce the law here. You know, this is about the federal government's fulfillment of its trust and treaty obligations to tribal nations and about the core's adherence to federal law. So I hope you agree that this deserves your urgent attention. I've, I've heard a lot of complaints from tribal representatives that over the years, the Department of Defense has not done enough to consult tribal nations or to respect the federal government's nation-to-nation -nation relationship with them. So let me ask the question another way, Mr. Connor. Will you commit to ensuring that the Corps respects tribal nations and the federal government's obligations to our tribal nations? Senator, that will be one of my highest priorities. I have spent a long time in government. I've spent a long time working on Native American issues uh, on behalf of tribes and trying to improve the relationship of the federal government as a whole with tribal nations. Uh, you have my strong commitment that I understand the concerns. I've heard them uh, many, many times over the years. I understand them, and I want to act on them and improve that relationship, prove the federal trust responsibility, improve the way we do consultation. It, it will be one of my highest priorities if I'm confirmed. Ah, strong commitment, highest priorities. That's what I like hearing. Thank you, Mr. Connor. I'm looking forward to working with you to ensure that we're treating tribal nations with the respect to which they are entitled both legally and morally.